This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. And you guys are sort of getting a little bit of a treat because I'm putting two duel videos or two duel matches up in the same day because I need to test some settings. I need to test like some audio track recordings in OBS Studio, which is what I just recently switched over to recording exclusively with um, and basically just making uh, making things sort of a bit more, you know, comfortable to use. But so, okay, starting off with a Brilliant Fusion into Trick Clown. I don't really know what this person is playing, but I'm hoping that information reveals itself pretty soon. Oh. Zombies. All right. Well, then this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of an issue, but actually not really, because let's see. He can summon you. Yeah, Unizombie can send Mizuki, making the Trick Clown um, go up to five. Uh, or he could do the Goblin Zombie. In this situation, it's probably better to do Goblin Zombie. And then uh, he could synchro with Seraph Knight into Omega, take a card out of my hand, and then Mizuki back the Unizombie. And then uh, synchro with the goblin zombie into uh, into a good play. So, hmm, interesting. Well, actually, all right. Hmm, I don't I don't know exactly what the best opportunity for him to end on is, but I know that my hand is pretty good. Uh, regardless, like I don't think I care if he hits any of these cards. To be completely honest with you, um, and like I can just stick a unicorn unless it gets sniped out of my hand by an omega. Pretty easily. So, yeah, Omega is coming down here. Uh, what did he make level 5? He made the Trick Clown 5. That's interesting. Uh, unless he has another card in his hand that he wants to discard off the Unizombie. In which case, I guess that makes sense. But probably made better sense to make the Goblin Zombie level 5 because then you wouldn't have to use Unizombie's effect again. You would literally just get another Omega here. Um, oh, he's discarding. What, does he have another Mizuki in his hand? Uh, that would be... Yeah, he does. Oh, well then. <laughs> Got my ass. Alright, so Brilliant Fusion plus Solitaire plus Mizuki, so that's a pretty strong opening. Uh, he's taking the Desires out of my hand, which I'm, whoa, 100% okay with. Uh, don't even have to question that one. Um, and he's, synchro he's going into Deco Talker here, which, that's odd. I, I don't necessarily agree with that one at all, uh, to be completely honest with you. But there's a Gozuki in his hand, and if I'm not dealing with another... Uh, if I'm not dealing with another uh, Omega here, then fine, sure. I'm pretty sure that this deck should have just... I'm pretty sure that he should have just, like, kept doing Omega plays. Because at that point, like, the deck is doing what it needs to be doing optimally. Because right now I'm not really hindered. Um, in any way, shape, or form, actually. Because I get to Trishula. Uh, with this hand, I get to... Ah, ha, ha, God. Um, with this hand, I get to Trishula. I get to drop Unicorn. I get to Trishula. Um... And then I can also drop Valk. <laughs> like, this hand is actually really, really good. Um, really good. Uh, but so we'll activate the Colossalus here for Kaleidoscope. And then I will Kaleidoscope out the Unicor by sending Herald of the Arclight. And then the Herald of the Arclight is just going to search for Mirror, which will allow me to Trish. Um, well, I'm actually short a mirror. Uh, that's gonna keep me from, um, I'm gonna, I'm short a mirror, so that's gonna keep me from being able to, uh, to drop Valk. But, like, damn. Uh, let's see here. So we'll search for Necro's mirror here. Uh, this is still fantastic. Oh my goodness. Like, this, this is still an amazing play. Because I get to Trishula his existence away. But, so I'll summon this Trish by banishing the Brio and the Kloss. Uh, the only thing that would have made that better is if I had uh, Cyber Angel Benton in my hand already, uh, or a Manju Senju. So I'll take that card out of his hand, I will take his Goblin Zombie, and I will take his... I don't think this matters, because he's going to get his uh, Omega back. Um, and I, if I take either of these, uh, like, the other one just, you know, fills in the void. Uh, but So I will just I will just take the Unizombie. That one doesn't really matter, but the Goblin Zombie going to Grave does. I hit the Gozuki out of his hand, so that's actually kind of good. And then I've got the uh, I've got the Valk that can be used for protection as follow up, but uh, it's not going to be as optimal. But so this this play was infinitely better if I did have access to either Benton or Manju Sinju. But I'm not complaining. Like I just equalized a lot. Um, 
his uh, Omega is going to come back, but it's going to have no effect because of Unicor. Uh, and so he's going to have to punch over my uh, Unicor without using his extra deck, which he's not going to be able to do because of the uh, because of the Valkyrus. And then I get to activate Pot of Desires next turn. So this is this is very very calculated in my favor at this point, I believe, because. He can attack over Unicor, but he can't though because of this Valkyrus, and he has no way of knowing about the Valkyrus because I didn't search it. So, haha, uh, got you there, duelist. But so yeah, this is fine. This is completely fine. I think that my opponent could have done much better turn one, in the form of making two Omegas trying to hit my things. Oh, a different dimension reincarnation um, to bring back Gozuki. Uh, all right, cool. So Gozuki comes back, he can send Mizuki, which can then bring back uh, the Solitaire, which can then be tributed to get Unizombie, which can then send... Well, actually, no. Can't send another Mizuki because two of them are gone. Um, oh, he's sending Spectral Sword. Alright. Not my first pick, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Whatever goats your float. Whatever boats your float. Uh, but So I'll use this. Uh, banishing the Mirror because I have other resources like that in the deck still. The Omega can't take a card out of my hand, so I just get to activate this Desires freely next turn, going up to four cards. This is a fun game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Great Scott! Great Sorcerer! Uh, yeah, that effect isn't going to resolve, my man. Unicorn kind of has some card text, and that card text is pretty fucking good, um, to be honest with you. Okay, so, I've got Cycle! Amazing! <laughs> Alright. And I didn't... I've got Cycle and access to Kaleidoscope and Mirror because, yeah, okay, I banished... I banished all three of my Bentons, I banished my two Sinjus, I banished my Maxi, and I banished one Gishki Vision, one thing, and one Dance Princess. Alright, fair. Easy. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. But so I'll Rota here for Kloss because I'm gonna get the other Ritual Spells out of my deck um, just straight away. Uh, this is just the better way for me to do this. Um, I can get the other Kaleido or the other Mirror out of my deck. Um, or I can just get another Cycle, honestly. Um, I'll get Mirror. Mirror seems like it's better in the long run because I'm about to put this in Grave alongside... Uh, I could put, like, Unicorn could go in the Grave uh, as well. But so now I get to put the Valkyrus on board, which allows me to just kill him this turn. Um, so Valkyrus, Ditching, Gishki Vision, Summoning Valk. Now I'm going to use Valk to draw a card by tributing the Great Sorcerer. Yeah, that has no effect, mate. You can keep trying. Alright. Um, so I'll just do this. Rotate this out for a Twin Twister. That's really good. Um, player draw, yes. I will add another Valkyrus from my deck to my hand just to protect uh, the Unicorn, Protect the castle, as it were. Uh, I could actually activate this, discarding this, and destroy these. The Gozuki would go away and then... It's 100% game, but at this point it is game anyway. My opponent has surrendered. So, next step is to, uh, whoa, um, is to do this. I'm going to side these in. My opponent is going to go first again. I'm almost positive. Um, so, I take out Ghost Ogres. Take out, what is another card that I don't necessarily want in my deck right here? I guess Gungnir. Uh, Gungnir doesn't really have a lot of applications in this specific matchup. Uh, but otherwise, I think the deck is already really good, like, properly situated, because I don't really think I care about Omegas as long as I can just do a two-card combo to stick Unicorn and then get Valk out. I can just win in the long term. Um, I don't think that's a problem. Oh! Disconnected, you say. You don't want to play against Necros in 2017. Well, that is unfortunate, but I guess we can actually cut it here, because I actually, like I said, this was a bonus video. This was not something that I was expecting to put out, but I will definitely, if the audio is good for the test that I was doing, if the audio is good, I will definitely use this as a video. I guess I'll just have it as a single, and um, and I'll put it up on the channel, and it'll just be an extra video. So you get three videos tomorrow. Rejoice, or excuse me, today, at the time that you're watching this. So this is the third video you're getting today, so spoiling my viewers is something that I often do if I have the time to do so but so but so but so but so but so hopefully this test was uh, was you know good uh, luckily since I don't really care about the audio recording I don't care that my phone just 
you know, got a notification. So there's that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like this video if you want to see more. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy my content greatly and want to help support my ability to continue creating content into the future, then supporting me on Patreon is the best overall solution to help that happen. It also gets you access into certain rewards, like access to my private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people, and as well as entry into a monthly raffle giveaway for a box of Yu-Gi-Oh! product or something of comparable value. So if you want to be interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon. But special thanks, as always, to Travis Miller, Iradium, J. Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You help out a ton in terms of making this little pipe dream of mine possible, as well as allowing me to have more time to put into this sort of stuff so that you get three videos a day, because I could probably consistently do that if I get more time in my day to keep doing things like recording and finding out video ideas and figuring out what I want to film, essentially. But other than that, if you have any suggestions for what you want to see me play, then definitely leave them in the comments down below or email them to the Phoenix Flare decks at Gmail uh, email in the description. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your time, and as usual, take care. I'll see you in the next video.